Hillary Clinton does not have to worry about the sirens and the gunshots at night. She doesn't worry about it. She's sleeping. In fact, Clinton aides say she was working, including calling Charlotte's mayor to discuss the recent police shooting and protests and offering assistance. Earlier in Pittsburgh, Trump pointed to the role he says drugs played in this week's violence. If you're not aware, drugs are a very, very big factor in what you're watching on television at night. His aides later insisting he wasn't specifically addressing the unrest in Charlotte. Even as our latest poll shows Clinton fortifying her lead up six points nationally, her critics are pouncing on a comment this week suggesting overconfidence while highlighting her pro-union positions. Having said all this, why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? Trump answering on Fox News. Because she's terrible. I mean, she's had a terrible record. Everything she touches is bad. I mean, it's just a mess. Both camps gearing up for Monday night's debate matchup. This weekend, Trump will huddle at one of his private golf clubs, prepping with top advisors, including Chris Christie and Rudy Giuliani. The candidate not doing mock debates, according to aides, sounds confident. I think it's going bad. Meanwhile, Clinton's preparing for the different Trumps that might show up, a senior advisor says, with her running mate offering his own prediction. You're going to hear Donald Trump doing a lot of trash talking. And President Obama offering advice with ABC News. Be yourself and explain what motivates you. She's in this for the right reasons. Overnight, we are told that Donald Trump spoke with the Republican governor of North Carolina about the situation there. A couple other notes about the debate on Monday night. A Clinton campaign spokesperson confirms that Chelsea Clinton will be in attendance on Monday night. Still unclear if the former president will be there. And just within the last couple of minutes, I was told by the Trump campaign that all of Donald Trump's uh, uh, children will be there, including his youngest son, Barron, and his wife, Melania, will also be in attendance Monday night. William Savannah. All right, Peter Alexander outside Trump Tower here in New York. Peter, thanks. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.